Hi, I'm Matthew Gast. I work in the office of the CTO at Trapeze Networks, and I'm here to talk about why WPA keys are not gone in 60 seconds. There was a paper yesterday published by two Japanese researchers that purported to show, shouldn't use the word purported, why WPA has been cracked. And that's an overstatement. The most important thing to take away here is that your TKIP keys are safe. This is an attack only against the message integrity check, and it doesn't have the same magnitude as the WEP key recovery attacks that we're all very familiar with that caused us to move to TKIP in the first place. If you want to know what to do, it's really easy to sum up. Just use CCMP. That If you take away one thing from this talk, that's all you need to know. So, now that you've decided to stay with me, um, TKIP really was intended to have a limited lifetime. It was designed to be a stopgap when it was first designed in 2001 to 2003. And it was designed around the constraint that it was going to be backwards compatible with the hardware that had been sold up to that point in the industry, because there's no way to go out and forcibly upgrade people's hardware. It suffers from that. It um, as a result of that, it was limited in the ciphers it could use and in the message integrity check that could be designed. You can see this, you can see it beginning to show its age. If you look at the Wi-Fi Alliance's 802.11n certification, there was a story that ran earlier this week on the CWNP blog that um, described how the Wi-Fi Alliance is doing negative testing to prevent the to prevent TKIP from being used with 11N. And the reason for that is very simple. 11N had to extend the frame, and TKIP was not extensible enough to protect it. Likewise, when the 802.11 working group started considering ways to protect management frames in more detail, um, that um, activity was also not something that TKIP could be extended to handle. The future of wireless LAN security is CCMP. Let's just go ahead and bury TKIP. We'll remember it fondly for allowing us to have security in this interim period, but it served its purpose. It gave us breathing room to get to CCMP, and if you need to sleep easier, um, you should go ahead and make that transition as soon as you can. As far as what we've done at Trapeze as a result of the paper by Ohigashi-san and Mori-san, there really isn't anything that needed to be done. This is a really clever attack. I enjoyed reading the paper. Um, the way the attack works is that the attacker has to insinuate himself into the flow of packets between the network and the client device. And this is something that we can notice with our location technologies. Um, because of that, the um, appearance of frames from both the attacker and the victim um, will um, potentially put the attacker outside the network or certainly you can identify the attacker's location and take action. That said, you don't need to, because last year when the first um, attack against the TKIP MIC was published, it turns out that the Trapeze products were already immune because of the way that we handle TKIP MIC failures. I have, so this has been a presentation on why your WPA key is still with you. It's not gone in 60 seconds. This is Matthew Gast signing off.